Hello everyone in Medical Scribe. I'm Karar Haider, student at Baghdad Medical College. In the previous video, which is part one of the skin tension lines, we explained an introduction about these lines, in which we talked in the beginning about the definition of these lines, then we moved through the origin of the skin tension lines. That was in the previous video. While in today's video, we will talk about the types of the tension lines and its functions and importance. We said in the past video that the skin tension lines will have two main types. The Langer's lines or the cleavage lines and the Krasil's lines or the wrinkle lines. We will begin by the Langer's lines. This type of lines that draw on the human body will run in parallel with and correspond the collagen fibers alignment that found in the dermis. And usually, these lines will be in the same direction of the underlying muscle fibers. Well, these lines were discovered by Carl Langer in 1861, when Carl brought a cadaver and an owl, and began to make many holes at a short distance from each other in the cadaver skin. So he noticed after a while that the orientation of the punctures had an ellipsoidal shapes. And from this test, he noticed the direction of the lines and its distribution pattern on the skin. As a result, he made what we call now the Langer's lines. So that was a historical point about these lines. Now, we have to know that these lines will make many patterns and many directions in different body regions. So they tend to spiral longitudinally in the limbs, while in the neck and the trunk, they will run in a transverse direction. And in the elbows, knees, ankles, and wrists, they will move in a direction similar to that of the transverse creases or in similar to the flexure lines of the joints. These transverse creases or these flexure lines will be seen when we bend the joint. And in order to understand why we knew these details, that because it will help us when we need to make a skin incision. So if we make an incision or we had a laceration in a direction parallel to the Langer's lines, the incision will heal without a scar or with a little scar. That because as these incisions run in parallel to the Langer's lines, and these lines is parallel to the collagen fibers, so there will be a minimal disruption to these fibers. And as a result, they won't make scars. On the other hand, if the incisions or the laceration made perpendicular on the Langer's lines, it will obviously disrupt the collagen fibers. As a result, this incision will heal but with a prominent scar. And in some severe cases, they will make a hypertrophic, firm, and raised scars called the keloids. So this is regarding the Langer's lines, which is the first type of the skin tension lines. While the Krasil's lines or the wrinkle lines, which is the second type of skin lines, these lines described by Krasil, depending on photographs of an old man with wrinkles. So they usually coincide with the wrinkle lines, but not always, of course. And these lines will be oriented perpendicularly to the action of the underlying muscles. What I mean is that, when a muscle contracts, it will have a direction, and it will make a specific action. So these lines will run perpendicularly on the action of this muscle. And because of that, it will consider as the lines of the maximum skin tension. Also, we have to know that the wrinkle lines do not always align with the Langer's lines particularly on the chin, on the dorsum of the nose, and on the area lateral to the eyes. So these are the wrinkle lines, which is the second type. Finally, in this video, we have to understand the importance of these lines. In fact, these lines have three main functions. The first one is that the surgeons attempting to minimize the scarring that caused due to surgical incisions by following these lines. By the second function 
is that these lines may impact the wound healing process. And finally, the Langer's lines in particular will be relevant to the forensic science and will help in developing the surgical techniques. So that was almost everything about the skin tension lines and its type and its importance. And that's it. I hope what I said makes sense. See you next video and goodbye.